Uh, my name's Kate Drummond. Um, I'm the Director of Neurosurgery at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and I'm a professor at the University of Melbourne. So I'm a neurosurgeon who specialises in brain tumour surgery uh, and in the care and research of patients with brain tumours. I remember really clearly seeing the first patient who I ever saw with a brain tumour. Um, this patient had a tumour called a craniopharyngioma, which is a very difficult to treat tumour. She was going blind. Um, she had no pituitary function left. Uh, she was very, becoming very disabled. She was terrified. And I remember thinking, somebody really needs to look after this woman. And I thought, I could probably do that. And I was hooked from there. I never thought about doing anything else. I particularly specialise in awake surgery and that really means that operations that wouldn't have otherwise been attempted can be done for patients, particularly with slow growing tumours. There's also some differences in, in what we do that have made a big difference for patients, particularly in terms of quality of life and for some patients in terms of quantity of life. Um, for instance, surgery is so much better than when I started as an intern in 1988. Um, you know, our ability to localise a tumour, our ability to take it out, say, with a fluorescent dye that helps us not stray into the normal brain. And also, an understanding that a multidisciplinary team is the way to care for these patients. That, I, I don't, I'm not sure I ever met an oncologist when I was training, but to work in a team of people where we're all try, focused on the one patient, using our expertise to, to, to to put a really good plan together. The only way that we will make things better, I think it, there's really, there's, there's two things that we have to have really front of mind. The first thing is the patient. And if anyone who's working in this field is not concentrating on the patient, they're not gonna get anywhere. But secondly is about the team. It's no use for neurosurgeons to um, try and do research without the input of hardcore scientists who know how to do good research. I've spent my whole life scratching around for little bits of money here and there to do all sorts of research, whether it be clinical trial research uh, or, or supportive care research or laboratory research. I guess from my point of view, you know, the thing that patients, mo that I hear most commonly, at the, either the start of their treatment or the end of their treatment is, isn't there any more we can do? In five years, if I could say to every single one of my brain tumour patients, yes, we have a clinical trial for you. Brain cancer patients need to know that we know that this is an urgent problem. It's urgent for them and they need to know that we understand.